Aikido, a Japanese martial art formally established in 1948. The founder of Aikido, Morihei Ueshiba, known as O Sensei or Great Teacher to Aikido students. Here, Yoshimitsu Yamada Sensei, taught directly by O Sensei and today the chairman of the United States Aikido Federation, demonstrates Aikido techniques with his assistant, Donovan Waite. The principles of Aikido are based on harmony and unification, a joining or blending with the direction and energy of your partner's attack, leading the conflict to a peaceful resolution. Instead of simply subduing an opponent, in Aikido, the unification of your body, mind, and spirit is the goal. The Aikido techniques you'll learn by watching this tape combined with daily practice in an Aikido dojo or practice hall will show you the way to understanding a powerful martial art. In the Founder's philosophy, daily practice of Aikido techniques will also show you the way to Aiki spirit, the unification of body, mind, and spirit with the world and ultimately the universe. to say hello to all the Aikido students throughout the country. Now, uh, I've been waiting this moment for a long time uh, to make a Aikido video uh, showing uh, fundamental or basic of Aikido technique. I hope this uh, video will be beneficial for the student to study and also for an instructor uh, to teach uh, more fundamental how to technique. When you watch this video, I want you to pay uh, strong attention or the slow details instead of uh, focusing on the entire movement, right? such as uh, the hand movement or uh, footwork. And also, uh, please watch carefully how the can his movement is, or how the uke make an attack, because it's very important for uke to make, your, make his attack strong and clear in order to give opportunity for nage to perform uh, technique clearly. So please pay attention on, also on the uke mi part as well. Proper bowing. When you come to the dojo daily, you're not coming just to practice the technique of Aikido. But uh, there's a, another thing we bow, right? uh, such as, for instance, uh, you run the of etiquette, such as uh, bowing uh, to the to the founder's picture or bowing each other. Now, you have to understand, bowing in martial art is nothing to do with the god or religious, okay? So it's just simply showing uh, your respect or showing your pre appreciation to the founder or to your practice partner. Say is a kneeling position. Basically, right, when you, when you do say that, right, first of all, keep your back straight, right, and try to put all the weight down calmly, right, okay, uh, put, put the both hands firmly, right, when you bow to Kamida, you start with your left hand, uh, armory, followed by right hand, okay, and bow. Okay. Still you're keeping your back straight and back position. Okay? Now uh, to the to the to the teacher or to the to your partner. Okay? So Ukemi, the art of falling. As you can see, learning how to fall properly is as important as learning Aikido technique. Also, learning how to fall properly is the key to learning how to throw properly. To learn the front roll, start off low to the ground. You want to turn your body into a circle or a sphere, starting with your fingertips, Roll over your arm and shoulder in a line across your back to your opposite hip. Here is the proper hand position. 
Notice that by rolling on the curved arm, there is no single point of impact. For the back roll, tuck your foot underneath you and roll diagonally across your back in a line from your hip to your opposite shoulder. Tuck your foot behind you like this so you can fall backwards easily and get up quickly. You should be able to stand straight up after you roll. If you play this tape backwards, you'll see that the front rolls and back rolls are almost exactly alike. Shomen Uchi, strike to the center of the head. Ikkyo. Okay, now I'd like to demonstrate uh, one of the very basic techniques in Aikido. Uh, Ikkyo, and Nikkyo, and Sankyo, and Yonkyo against Shomen Uchi attack. Okay. Uh, Please notice that after Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, Yonkyo is uh, based on Ikkyo. So uh, you must complete Ikkyo properly, then go into Nikkyo and Sankyo and Yonkyo. Shominuchi Ikkyo, Omote. Now, there are two opening stances in Aikido. If we stand with 10 foot forward, that we call it Aihami. Now, if we stand like this, we call this Gyakahami. So, for this technique, we start with Aihami. Your arm, you start moving your front foot diagonally, forward, forward. Okay? So that your yeah, balance is pretty strong. Okay? Otherwise, okay, you may end up <coughs> very funny uh, weak position. So, so remember for good balance, arm, start radio moving arm. with your front foot as you raise your arm. Your heel, your body is facing direction you're going. Okay? As you raise your arm, start with the front foot diagonally so that your balance is strong. Now I ask Uke to take the, his hakama off so that you can see uh, clearly uh, how he moves his foot, whatever fall he has to take. Uh, watch carefully how he moves his leg against the letter E. Okay. Protect himself, put his, his left hand away from his body because he's gonna run straight down. Right? Then his left knee down, okay, so that he can fall. Right? If he put his right knee down first, then obviously his body kind of twisted like this. Okay? Right? This means he's gonna fall down right from his shoulders, causing some serious injury. Okay, at this point. He should protect himself, putting his left hand on the mat. Okay, go down with the left knee, so that his entire right side of his body is free to maneuver. Shominuchi Ikkyo, Ura. For Shominuchi Ikkyo, Ura, start by moving to the side of your partner. Now, keep his arm in front of you, all the way. Okay? Wind up like this. Oh, okay. Everything in front of you. Your uh -huh. arm should be extended evenly. Okay? And your entire body goes down. Shomen Uchi Nikkyo. Now, uh, Shomen Uchi Nikkyo, both Omote and Ura. So, uh, let me demonstrate first. Okay. After you complete. 
Let it cure. Okay. Uh, make sure. Okay. Keep feeling extension on this uh, on his elbow part. Okay. Especially when you try to switch for the uh, for Nikio. Okay. Don't become like that. He might come up. Okay. So make sure you holding him down until you fit uh, transfer uh, transaction complete. There are two ways of switching the wrist part. One is Right? In other words, use your palm. Right? Press the palm against his hand and turn around. Right? Now, second one, use your thumb. Right? Hook your thumb inside and turn around. Four. Watch. Four. 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 First one, your palm against his wrist and turn. The important thing is, while you're doing this, okay, hold his elbow strongly or extend your own power strongly, all right, all the way, okay? Now, second one, use your thumb, okay? Oh, okay? In other words, use his arm, you make you suck, I mean, now. Uh, oh, okay? Keep in the motion. For the first way to switch for Nikyo, press your palm against the back of his hand. Okay, put your left knee down first. Okay, move his arm in, inside your arm. Okay, now bring your right knee above his shoulder. Oh. And the second way, use your thumb, keeping the arm in motion. Shomen uchi nikyo, ura. Hey, now, shomen uchi nikyo, ura. Which is, maybe a little bit uh, complicated, difficult. So please pay uh, good attention. Hey, now, like I said before, uh, nikyo is based on ikkyo. So, remember the shomen uchi nikyo, ura. Hey, hey. Now, from here, okay, the hand, on the elbow, okay? Slide down until the wrist part, okay? As you make a ura movement. Okay, now, do not aim directly to wrist, okay? Because sometimes might end up, you know, receiving uh, all the power, so make sure go for each two, okay? And as you turn around, you Move down your left hand forward. Okay? With your move. Okay? Now, same as the omote when you switch. Okay? You can use the thumb. Oh. And after you complete, you put this on your shoulder or chest. Oh. Okay? Make sure close these two fingers strongly. Right? Okay? And this hand just come all the way from here to lead the power to meet him. Right? Also, it will be helpful, right, if you use entire body. In other words, as you bring this in, you kind of, your entire body kind of lean forward, right? Right? This way you get extra uh, power, okay? Right? Don't pull back like that, then he just push you over, right? So, as you bring this in, you lean forward, oh, right? And also, right, don't, don't lift all your power up to shoulder, okay? Don't make your bottom part empty, okay? This part must be strong in order to feel a good nickel, okay? What I mean, don't become like that. <coughs> Okay, keep your weight down. You're gonna deal with this part of the body. Okay, now from here, still continue.
something, right? Important uh, thing is the position, your position, toward your uh, angle, toward your okay. Okay. Uh, don't stay too much in front of him like this, or don't stay too much away from him. No. Okay. This kind of proper angle. Okay. Now, as your stance, okay, according your height, right? You make sure. You make a comfortable and strong stance. In other words, if you make it too narrow, that lifts everything up, right? In other words, also if you're too wide, you know you don't feel too much comfortable. So accordingly, right? Right? So, right? And as you apply any cure, it's your weight kind of forward, bending forward knee, right? Never uh, kept. Keep your both knee kind of spread up like this. Okay? Always your knee should be any technique. Your knee should be flexible, right? And kind of loose. Okay? So that you can shift your weight uh, occasionally or accordingly. Okay? Okay? Now, you're still holding this strongly. Just move this forward. And you turn around. As for uh, look at attitude uh, in this Nikkyo technique. Okay? Now I understand. I understand. Uh, nobody like uh, take a pain, right? However, okay, it's good good training for you to it. Okay? Because you know, don't worry. Because I'm not putting a pressure against his elbow. Or, you know, I'm just bending the way it down. Okay? So it is good to take a good stretch. Okay? In other words, right, for him, for him, right, kind of take the pain for, right, approaching his body toward me at, when he receives my pressure. Or, okay. However, if he try to get out of my pressure, right, it might end up, turn that way, end up, end up, end up receiving the pressure against his elbow. Okay. And once he, once he get this position, it's hopeless for him. Okay, and also dangerous. Okay, cause a lot of injury. So, for okay, try to take that and you know, bend it. Okay, okay. Don't turn yourself around the other way. Okay, you get worse position, worse situation. Okay, okay. If you are, right? If you take, if you take that take it, okay, you always come up. Choice, right? To get down 
Letting right knee. Doesn't matter. Like this. Or approach it like this. Doesn't matter. Okay? Right? However, don't go down putting a both knee at a time like this. Bang. Okay? Right? Because he also, okay, should consider his recovery or position wise for uh, counter techniques, for instance. Okay? Alright? Or in order to follow my next movement, he should be ready. Right? But if he commits himself, like his boss knee can commit down on the floor, he got he got stuck there already. Right? But for instance, if he comes down with the right knee there, right, right, left, right knee there, right, then he's completely free for my next movement, which is I'm gonna turn around. Show me Uchi Sankyo. So uh, before I do the entire movement, uh, let me explain. Um, details how to grab the sankyo. Right again. Okay. Uh, you use these two fingers. Okay. Right. This is the one uh, which control. Okay. Not not the thumb part. Okay. No. These two fingers has to be strong and steady. Okay. okay. Now. When you apply sankyo or, or when I put a little bit uh, extra pressure, uh, make sure keep his forearm kind of straight, right? So that means you must kind of put yourself down a little bit. Okay, right? Okay, don't raise his part up or don't, don't keep his uh, forearm kind of flat like that. This way, no, over here, yeah, right? I just drop his elbow down, uh, or he can do uh, a million things, right? So make sure keep the form uh, kind of straight, all right? So, so that, for that, I must uh, keep yourself down a little bit, okay? Keep everything in front of you, at the center, right? Okay, when you want to move this part, you, you move it the best, right? Okay, many people just involving the using arm. <laughs> This is just main, remain here. Okay? You deal with the body movement. You can even make a step. Doesn't matter. Right? But remember, it's the body who control the whole thing, not your part of the body, such as arm or this part. Okay? Or entire body. Okay? Okay? Keep everything down. After you grab for Sankyo against various attack, you will finish in two different ways, right? One is Omote finish, right? One is Ura finish, right? So let me demonstrate how it's done. Right? First, time, uh, first one, uh, Omote ending. Okay, now, Omote ending, I put myself in front of him, okay? However, at this point, okay, his arm is on my way, so it's very difficult for me to move myself uh, in front of him. So, simply, right, I move him up to make a room, okay? On the line, okay, move him out, okay? Now, you gotta do two more things simultaneously, okay? As soon as you move him back, put this part down, okay? Time. Now you have a plenty room. Okay, you come around. Oh, hey, right. make sure you still putting a thank you on his wrist and move other hand on his elbow. Okay, extend both arm evenly. Okay, and move back this direction. Right, which is very weak angle for him. Right? Now Sankyo ending is different from Nikyo. Okay? Once you put your picket down, right, the hand on the elbow comes up and depress. Okay? From here, this hand comes up and change. Oh. Right? Meanwhile, put the other knee down. Oh. Put his palm against your shoulder or chest. Oh. 
Okay. Follow up by left hand against it. There we go. And move. Sorry. Now the hand on the elbow comes up to the press. Right. Please notice still the sanctuary is going on on his arm. Right? Put it on this shape. Okay. Okay. Go on. Meanwhile, move your left knee there so you can sit down. Okay. You may use your shoulder or chest against the palm to help give an extra twist. Okay. Finish. Okay, simply bring his wrist or your own arm down. Okay, okay, okay. Then. okay. Now, this cause him or his body come around this, this way. All right, okay. even though I'm not any, uh, twisting anything, right? Even though I bring straight down, his body coming toward me. Okay. So that means I should move myself out, right? In order to give him a room to go down. So when I bring this down, I move my leg together. Whoa. Okay, right? Right? And simultaneously make second step. Back. All these three motions has to be done simultaneously. Okay? Uh, bring this down, step in back. And on the final step, those three movements have to be done simultaneously. It's not one, two, three different, you know, uh, movement. Okay, watch how it goes. Now, uh, I'm going to demonstrate doing a both the Sankyo Omote and Ura against Shomen Uchi attack. Right? Now remember, I said before, it's based, still based on Ikkyo, so you must complete Ikkyo. Right? Don't go direct to Sankyo. Okay, finish up. So, okay, for Sankyo Omote. Okay, from here, you want to switch. For Sankyo. Okay. Shomen Uchi Sankyo, Ura. Okay, from Ikkyo, you switch hand. Okay. Okay. Going, going. Shomen Uchi Yonkyo. Let me explain how to hold a uh, uh, Yonkyo uh, properly. Okay, from Ikkyo position, right, you switch for Yonkyo like this. Okay, this hand maintain bottom of his uh, wrist like this. Move your right hand and put right. Oh. Okay, just like you're holding a uh, book hand. Okay. Okay. Move this hand and set. Now, as soon as you grab again, again, just like holding a book can, you must uh, tighten up your two, this two bottom finger. Right? And put the pressure against this one. When you move this, 
try to move his elbow down. Put your focus on the elbow. Ooh. Right? Instead of uh, concentrating on the wrist, just like this, try to move and take his arm. Ooh. from uh, in your position, set up, okay, okay. You move your left hand, this hand, here, okay, this, so that you grab, you close, tighten up to bottom finger, okay, okay, again, keep everything in front of you or center of your body, just like you're holding a book hand, okay, and try to move, think, as if his uh, forearm is a uh, book in your holding. So I sing a book in. This you can hit. Now, entire movement. Show me which young kid. Let me demonstrate the motor movement first. In speed kyo. And switch. Swariwaza, kneeling technique. So, in the Swariwaza position, you have no choice. Okay? You have to use this one. Okay? So, first, uh, we're going to demonstrate how the knee walk should be done properly. When you walk forward, okay, do not put the weight on the knee, such as like this. Okay? Go ahead, keep going. Right. No, no. Okay? Go back. Okay? So, no, this is incorrect. Okay, now, uh, before the action in Swadivada, he should always sit down, uh, just like you sit down in your seated position. Okay, now, as soon as he got in the motion, okay, he should stand up with the top. So, okay, now at this point, his weight shouldn't be on his knee. Okay, right? however, his, his weight should be straight down on his toe, like that. After you stand up with the toe, okay, when he moves forward, you start the one leg forward, stand up, like that. Okay? Now putting his knee down and swing around. So, okay? Okay? Come back again. Please notice. When he moves forward, turn on, go ahead. Okay? Don't leave this leg behind you like this. Okay? Come back again. Okay? You should, he should carry his always with him and keep under his body. Please notice. Always in random action, his weight is straight down. Okay. So, okay. Now, from here, from this position, uh, stand handy position, okay. Okay. he should be able to do a, like a, such a tenkan exercise as well. Just keep the tenkan exercise. Go so, so back and forth. Go so back and forth. Go so back and forth. So, okay. Don't put the weight on the knee. That's a key point. So it was a Shomenuchi Ikkyo. Every time you do the technique, you have to show the details. So 
tvorivá za katatóri Nikkyo. Hanmi Hanmi Handachi, Katatetori. For who can attack Hanmi uh, against in Hanmi Handachi, right? Normally, he should come from the angle like this. Hanmi Handachi, Katatetori Shihonagi. Hanmi Handachi Katatetori Udegarame. Hanmi Handachi Ushiro Katatori Jujinage. Yokomen Uchi. Yokomen Uchi. Against Yokomen Uchi, right? There are two opening movements. One is, I just demonstrate, you move back. Okay? Other one, you enter. Because he's aiming to hit my side of the face or head. Right? His movement in his attack already has started to move. Oh. Okay? That means I also make my movement kind of circular. Okay? Instead of moving straight back. Okay? So, in order to make a circular movement, I will start moving my back, moving to the side. Okay? And simultaneously make other one back. So, we end up facing each other. This hand is not for uh, grabbing the, the wrist or kind of blocking. Okay? This hand is kind of guiding you down. Okay? Okay? Down. Okay? Now 
with the other hand, okay, I also have idea or act as if I'm attacking his side. Okay, this okay, and this continue and meet my both hand meet down here. Oh. Now, at this point, okay, my balance should be that I'm kind of facing him. Because at this point, I don't know yet which direction I'm going. So it depends on his reaction. Okay, from here, I might go this way, okay, or I might go the other way. Okay, so that means, okay, it's very important for me to maintain good balance. Okay, so for Shihara from here, okay, you show the direction you're going, then you just step, okay, and from this position, okay, I don't decide to go the other way, okay, so move this away a little bit, okay, and really mean again. Okay, and you show both technique. Now, Okay, after you make a fast move. Whoa. All right, you're gonna start with the front leg moving diagonally forward along with this hand. Okay. okay. Turn your toe on the outside. Okay. 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 And I need to bring this up a little bit higher in order to make a room for me. Okay. Yoko Menuchi Iriminage. For Shihonage back four. He should always right, go down in the inside leg. Then come on cross to me. Okay, tag this foot on and open. Okay. okay. Now four. for proper eliminate okay. back four. Okay. As I as a nugget step in, he should fall over this foot. Then right? This way he doesn't have to take a strong punishment. Okay? He can protect himself. Yokomen Uchishi Honage. Ura. Now for entering movement against Yokomenuchi attack. Now again remember, okay, whatever technique you're gonna do, okay, don't go for that particular technique right from the beginning. Okay. You make a fast movement completely. Okay. Okay. Then switch for technique. Now, when you enter. Okay, lay the both arm extending. Okay, you don't have, I don't have to go up high to meet him. This goes losing my balance. Okay, I should maintain uh, row and down. Okay, so, okay, right? and don't end up 
looking facing somewhere else. Right? I should end up seeing him so that I can see his next reaction. Okay, but if I end up facing the wrong direction like this, I don't know what's going on here. Okay? So make sure you keep a, uh, enough room in between both of us. Oh, so I have a plenty of room to make any transaction from here. Now for Kokyo, you have the wrist like this. Okay? See the difference uh, from Ikkyo? Ikkyo, you cross hand and end up grabbing oh. Okay? For Gokyo, you come directly. Oh. And okay. This particular technique, Gokyo, can be used for uh, against a knife attack. Okay? I put him down. I need to take off his knife. Okay. So one way, put this up and put the pressure to this. Okay. Or right here, it's the knee against the bottom of his thumb. Morotetori. What are you going to do against this attack, Morotetori? Okay. You cannot go directly to a technique grabbing like uh, the, uh, the wrist, whatever, because he's in a strong position. So I need to break up his balance, right? Try myself. Okay. Okay. Now from here, the two ways I can do. One is from here, bring him down. Morotetori Kotegaishi. This is a proper hand position for Kotegaishi. Morote Teori Ikkyo. So, after the opening movement with a strong copy Power, okay. You want to lead him this way. Oh, okay. And then to bring it up. Oh, okay. Going for it. Katatori men uchi. Whenever Uke grabs his shoulder, okay, like others, just like everything else, he has a purpose, all right, grabbing this, right, he's not going to grab just for nothing, okay, he grabs, right, give me attack, 
okay, or spray, or hands, or to me, whatever. Okay? I should go right into the technique right, without making a, a initial movement or without putting myself in a secure position. Okay? For instance, don't go for grabbing the head wrist right away. Okay? Okay? Always make an initial opening movement. Okay? Okay, or depending on how he grab, okay, I might turn myself the other way. Okay, or so that he grab, I want to be very aggressive and make a move. There are two reasons uh, end up the position. Okay, one is like I say, so that he grab, I make a turn. I make a Okay? Right? Then, obviously, he's gonna block. Okay? Alright? Like from his side. Okay? So that he grab, he might give me a strike. Now, I need to block. Okay? That's why we end up this position. Okay? Now, the important thing is, at this point, both of us must have a kind of strong extension each other. Okay? If mine is weak, right? I cannot, you know, make any kind of movement or I can even beat him. Uh, okay? Because I'm perceiving all his power. Now, at this point, if his blocking is not strong enough or weak, right? I just keep charging in. At this point, we are both uh, must have strong uh, extension. Okay? That's why, right? Because I'm feeling him strongly, that's why I'm getting back. So oh, I turn around. Whatever case. When you block his strike, right, don't stay in front of him and receive. Okay? Always you move in sideways and block. Okay? So that you are out of his way. If he receiving or staying in front of me, okay? Right? My next attack is cut this down and make another attack. Okay, that's my that's my attack. Okay? Right? So he needs as soon as I grab, you need to get out of my way. It's sideways, so I cannot do nothing. Okay? okay? That's the reason I move kind of to the sideways. Even for blocking hip strike, or even for my attack, I move. After this initial move, or... Oh. Okay? Right? Because I still... Receiving his, his pressure of his power, I simply turn around this way to avoid. Right? Okay? okay? But the important thing is, during your movement, you should keep feeling this strongly. Okay? Don't end up, don't give up on Yes, then you just come. Hold Okay? So, strongly feel. Okay? Let's do a Nikyo. Katatori men uchi nikkyo. Ushiro Waza, attack from behind. Okay, such a, uh, he might grabbing, uh, from grabbing my boss wrist, or only my entire arm, right? Or could be a choking, right? Could be a holding my shoulder, right? Or choking my hand, like this, okay? Now, it's because he's attacking from 
behind. First thing you have to do is to get safety position for you before you do any technique. Okay, another word. Okay. Then you do what you guys see. Right? Whatever. Okay? Or she cut out it too. Okay? Don't go right into the technique grabbing for something like this. Okay? Always get position for it. Okay? Then thank you for the guy she Ushiro Katatori Sankyo. Ushiro Kubishime Jujinage. Ushiro Tekubitori Kotegaishi. Shomenuchi Kotegaishi. Now I'd like to demonstrate a few techniques against each different attack. First one against Shomenuchi. Shomenuchi. Shomenuchi Shihonage. Shomenuchi Kaitenage. Yokomen Uchi Kokyu Ho. Yokomen Uchi Udeki Menage. Yokomenuchi Iriminage. Iriminage. Ski Kokyo. <laughs> 